Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Sarat from Ratko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn Sun, Moon, and also Capricorn Rising. Weekly general tarot reading May 3rd up until uh, May 9th, 2021. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, where you can view or uh, you purchase either or both of these services. So with that being set aside, moving straight away to the reading itself. And uh, the first card we do have for you, Capricorn, that is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by uh, Justice card. Moving next, we have uh, the Lovers here. Afterwards, that is going to be the Sun. And uh, the last card for you, Capricorn, that will be the King of Cups, like that. So uh, the week will be more on the important side than, than the carefree side, I would say, semi important. That is uh, for a reason that throughout the week you are to be quite, um, how can I say, reluctant what you should do, at least the very first portion of the week. But after that, um, pretty much the, the arguments, if I may say it that way, is going to lean into one side and the other. And the peculiar, uh, the peculiar nature of the week kind of like reveal, reveals itself straight away as the week starts here with the Seven of Cups. That is because with the Seven of Cups energy as the week starts for you, uh, just hold on a second, uh, it, it will feel like you can uh, pretty much uh, accomplish anything, you know, and um, at that given stage, it's just it will feel like you are flying into the cloud nine and uh, most of the, how can I say, most of the predicaments that you may face along the way, uh, not to mention the boundaries that you can stretch to and as well personal capabilities uh, are not going to be taken under consideration. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that whatever uh, aim you do have at that at that given point is unaccomplishable is just it may take a little bit more time that you have uh, that you are anticipated uh, anticipating at this given moment throughout the week so with the seven of cups what is important at the start of the week and what is the guidance here for you if you will from tarot is to be a little bit more grounded and not to what can i say it's not even uh, how, um, it's not even panicking around. It, it, it's more like you you gotta stick to the um, to the to the real arguments that are presented in front of you, and just live with them, okay? Rather than hoping or thinking even or or um, it's very difficult to describe it um, or presuming, if you will, that something miraculous is going to uh, is going to happen out of a cer certain actions that you don't know what the uh, what the outcome of them is going to be you just only presume what the outcome is going to be so here at the start of the week you got to stick to what you know to be true you got to stick with your reality and just push forward with it and as you do so here, the uh, justice card takes place and the justice here points that you're going to cope very well with the reality itself and not just only with the reality, but with everything that you got to do. So if throughout the week you have set or bestowed upon yourself a lot of chores or a lot of responsibilities that you need to fill out, so you just have them out of your way for the next week moving forward. The Justice card points that you will have almost in an immaculate performance into it. So that will be a, a week that you can accomplish a lot and you can get a lot out of your way in terms of, uh, term of promises, in terms of responsibilities. But that is, like I said, once again, if only if you do not fly into the skies, but rather step firmly into the ground and be grounded. Uh, what I didn't mention with the Seven of Cups, it is what is going to be uh, the negative aspect or rather like the negative impact if you don't bring yourself back to the ground. 
Well, a disappointment really. Uh, this week, as these two cards are present, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna lose anything, okay? But the disappointment is gonna pretty much bring you back where you started from and you have to try anew. So why you have to waste your time trying multiple times if you can just approach whatever situation you're in or whatever situations, plural, you are in throughout the week uh, and you just have to face them objectively. With uh, the Justice card, as we do have the second card of your uh, reading as well, uh, you are going to adopt a very good perception or should I say discernment, uh, knowing, uh, knowing which thing to develop first, in which second, in which last. I always have difficulty to describe that kind of a, uh, that kind of a narrative where you settle down your responsibilities in such a way that you know, they do not interfere with each other, nor you do feel like you are barely catching up your breath, but rather you do have just enough amount of uh, enough amount of time and just the right approach toward any single one of it. And as you do so, as you do tackling with all of the things in the week and you are performing well in every single one of them and you are fulfilling your responsibilities and as well your tasks, the moment of choosing is coming about here with uh, the lovers. But what, what happens it is that as you do go by with your week in a rather... Um, well, say it in normal fashion, you're also going to feel that point, and not just only feel, but that is going to be also a place that you're quite harmonious with your surroundings. And uh, at this given moment of the week, you also are gonna find yourself being cleared out a lot of problems that previously have been looming on the horizon. And with the lovers, the decision that you will have to do at this particular point, it is a, a decision like uh, what you gotta do against what you want to do. Um, that decision could literally re re uh, relate to anything. Okay, it just literally can relate to anything. Um, it could be if we take the lovers in a literal sense as uh, people you love, you may have to choose in between two suitors. One of them, it is the one that you have to choose for because it falls within your criteria. The other one doesn't, but it is the one you want to be with. So neither of them or rather like neither of these decisions is either good or bad, you just have to make your choice and live with it. As far as the love goes with the lovers, not excluded that you can find somebody to fall, to, to, to fall in love with, okay, throughout the week, or you may already have somebody that you are in love with. But the, the lovers, it's a very uh, difficult card. Uh, first of all, the lovers, it's an air sign, it's not a water, it's not a water element, which means that it has nothing to do with emotions, it has nothing to do with feelings, it's only about the mind and brain. And uh, the lovers, it's about um, becoming one whole with the one you love. Now, when I say becoming one whole, I don't mean that you both have to amplify each other, being the same as the person you are in love with, having sharing the same interests, sharing the same, um, you know, agenda, sharing the same, uh, how can I say, the same attractions and so on and so forth. Just makes you one of the same. The point of being one whole is of binding two opposites to collide. So the person that you may fall in love with is gonna be nothing like you. It, it will have different interests uh, as well, a different hobbies, different uh, social circles to be at. It, it will be, everything is gonna be different. So the question with the lovers is, can you live with it? Can you bind both of these perfectly matching opposites and move forward with it? Usually people get scared and they pass on it. That's why the lovers is, by the way, one of the worst cards you can have when you're just starting a relationship. It just points that yes, you are bound to fall in love, but you know, can you live with it? It is the question. And it is, uh, and it is the question of a choosing. Are you gonna live with what you want or are you gonna do what you have to? Either of the choices works for you. And uh, that choice, like I said, it could refer to a job that you will have to take. It could refer as well to a person that you want to be with. It, it could refer as well to taking a break or not. It could refer also 
for example, where you should spend your holidays. Either of that, it's it, that the car pretty much urges you, if we have to classify the right or the wrong choice, the car urges you to do what feels harmonious to you. And right after this appearance of, of the choice making from your behalf, the sun card takes place and that is right after you make your choice and with the sun it's a card pretty much pointing that you're going to do a pretty good job living with it okay uh, because with the sun whatever whatever decision you are about to make throughout the week and that will be a rather big decision um, <clears throat> it will force a an expanding energies of growth so regardless if it is about love or if it is about career, these fields are going to grow. And the way that they are going to grow is going to boost your, uh, your vital energies also. And um, it will pretty much bring happiness into your life, not to mention that the life after you do make that choice into this field of life is going to take its natural course. So th th there will be nothing that it feels that you will have to push forward that you have to struggle with right or that you will have to pretty much uh, swim against the current for it another thing about the sun card it is that at this point of the week as well it's highly likely that many of um, of the fights that you are making and i mean verbal fights are going to drop off the table that is because the sun it's a, the the energy of the sun pretty much implies that everybody should be happy around you and uh, being in an argument, being in a fight doesn't make anybody happy. And thus, you know, out of nowhere they, or out of the blue, the fight may be just, you know, drop down and it's just you, nobody is going to bother with it. So towards the end of the week, you can expect if you are having a, a rough time with your family or with friends or with co-workers as well, uh, these hard times are just going to be abandoned at least for now and the hatchets of war are going to be buried down. Uh, what is important about the Sun card it is that um, people should... Uh, or you in this particular case, you should aim to be happy. Now, the way that the sun makes one happy is through the happiness of others. So wherever you go, whomever you do associate yourself with, you know, and whatever situation you find yourself being um, involved in, try to make others happy. That is gonna make you happy too. And through that happiness, as you do make other people happy, one of them steps out and that is going to be this King of Cups. This one, it's, uh, it's capable of very deep emotions and very deep feelings, which is a card pointing that the lovers here is highly unlikely to be about love. It, to me, it speaks more about how you're going to keep up with life from now on, what kind of a person, uh, person you're going to, or what kind of a personality you're going to show in front of the world, the one you want or the one you have to. Either way, it's going to work for you. But uh, this person kind of like steps in and uh, the King of Cups, they are very capable of deep cont uh, contentment and emotions as well. The thing about them is that they are not showing them in front of everybody. They are showing them only in front of those that does deserves them in this particular case, you. So don't expect that this individual, regardless if it's going to be a woman or a man, to shout out into the world that they have a thing for you. They're not going to do that. You know, they're going to show that when when you are alone with them okay when you are just two of you somewhere and uh, they uh, as well the king of cups they do not play uh, a game of hide and seek they don't play hard to get they are straight away approach uh, approachable and also what they do is they either offer something or they offer a, a helping hand and they offer something it is like an opportunity so this person here that, that steps out because you are making other people happy and as well them happy also um, steps out and finds you worthy of something they can offer which is a something that there is for you uh, no reason whatsoever to deny right uh, that could be your job offer it could be a relationship offer as well it could be offering a helping hand also that you may use to help you with something of your behalf 
whichever it is guys like i said there is no need for you to deny it and on top of that regardless what it is it may be a job offer but that doesn't mean that this person doesn't have a thing for you they are always they, they are doing that because they feel deep emotions about it or about you as well so that being said capricorn this was your a weekly general tarot reading for may 3rd up until may 9th 2021 Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.